fun to talk to. Interesting. Interesting. I was looking for you a little bit earlier at your uh, at your place of work. Um. I don't go about this. I wish it would have went a little different. So, are you familiar with the uh, Akai at all? The Akai. Um. You get the. I don't want to take your actual PD. I need a. So you've been um, corresponding with a undercover uh, operative for quite a little bit. Okay. Um, and so I mean, it was me. Uh, I mean, okay, it was me. Um, so my original uh, whole take on it was I wanted I was trying to work on a case against Aztecas. Um, then you personally. I'm just gonna lay all the cards on the table. Okay. Um, so, 10 4, I need to speak with this individual. Um, yeah, that was kind of my original go at it. Uh, but you didn't really seem like a normal Azteca shitter. Um, you kind of seemed like you did your own thing, honestly. Um, so, and you also just seemed like a genuine, decent person. Ah, voice crack. <clears throat> so, this is what I want to do. Um, I would love to not charge you for this, obviously, or any of the other, uh, crimes you've admitted to me, uh, via text and, uh, while I was wearing wire. Um, I want that all to go away. In return, maybe a little bit of information from you. Information about? Um, more so Playboy. Um, I know I asked you what your relationship with them was. And they told me it was neutral. Um, I don't know if that's a you personal thing or you or how the Aztecas work at the gang. That was in the city. That was an Azteca thing. I don't even right. know anyone in Playboy. Except the idiots who want to fire from Harmony, but... Except for who? Uh, some idiots who want to fire from Harmony that just shouldn't be working there. Are they Playboy? Uh, I think three of them are. I don't know their names, so... Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah. It's kind of what we're mostly looking for, is just some names. Um... Uh, is there any old Azteca members that did you wrong, or any other, you know, or possibly Syndicate members that could have uh, done you wrong? No, not that I could think of. Mm. You're kind of just going to have to charge me with whatever you want to charge me with. Okay. Uh, so also, you're looking for that, uh, you're looking trying to get that car, that 5 mil car. Which one? Uh, Sylvia, I think you said it was, the Sylvia? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I would hate for you to have to, you know, go down for any of these crimes. That's, it's gonna be a pretty big sentence with a hefty fine. Yeah, I feel that. Like I said, you're a pretty, you know, you're a pretty stand-up decent guy. I don't wanna, I don't wanna send you for that, you know? I feel that, but you know, that's life, that's the life I live, the game I play. That's true, that's true. Uh, Forrester, do you have anything you want to ask him or add to it? I just, I just want to make sure you know, and, you know, if you do tell us anything, it's all privileged, of course, no one will know it came from you. Um, pretty much, uh, just me and this other officer in the car will, uh, will know. You know, we won't put your name out on the street until you see anything. And all that. Um, you know, like you said, you know, we want to be able to, you know, we would like to work something out. But if, if you do not have it, any information, you know, we do. Eh, nothing that could help you. I mean, if you just give us those names of the uh, playboys that work for you, that'd be wonderful. I mean, I don't even know them, so even if I wanted to, I could go know. through. I could go through a list of names, but I can't tell you uh, which ones. Nah, who. I'm not gonna make you do that. That sounds like a <laughs> fucking pain in the ass. <laughs> well, I can't even pick out who's who. It's literally be like, hey, who are you with? Hey, who are you with? So like, and then I sit here in the MBT for seven hours. Yeah, pretty much. Fuck that. Um, actually, another question. Um, so is, I don't. So, Forrester, do you remember when we got that, when we did that bust at the, uh, 
The one guy who was selling lean. Yep. Remember his name? I believe... Yes. The one with like the, the 90 cups of lean, 90 plus. Yeah, yeah. I believe I do. Let me, uh, one second. Let me just double check. We never, we never, uh, written anything officially up about that, right? Right, that's something true. Um, I do, I have a pretty good idea, you want me, you want me to say it? Yeah. Um, I believe it was Calvin Swift. Uh, do you happen to know Mr. Calvin Swift? He's an employee at Harmony, yeah. What the fuck did I just say? Crap, oh, that did was you? weird. No, just something uh, weird happened to my eyes. Uh, okay. um, are you close with? You no, know, you know, ah, it's does, close to the boss. With. It's close to the boss can be to an employee. Um, I don't know what he gets up to outside of work. Um, so we had him for a, uh, a bus. He was selling, uh, he's selling cups of lean. <clears throat> to some narcos guy, saying uh, he he was hanging out at uh, what's it called at Harmony. That's where he kind of just you know, just hangs out and. He mentioned some other guy in a blacked out Lamborghini that meets him at Harmony and they do business at Harmony. Um, you don't know, you know. In a black a Lambo? Fully blacked out Lamborghini. Yeah, no, I can't think of a fully blacked out. Okay. Just a little heads up, too. I don't know, you know, like you said, you don't know what he does or what his doings are. It seems like he uses Harmony as a meetup spot to exchange drugs for money. Stuff, you know. um, I don't know, it's just more so looking for names of uh, the boy members essentially, so I mean, yeah, have unfortunately, like that's that. nothing I can help you with. Okay. Uh, is there anything you could think of that could possibly help us out? Not that I can think of, no. Alright. You guys seem to pretty much know everything, so I think we're, uh, I think we're uh, pretty much on the same page. Okay. The same page as in, as in I know about as much as you guys would know. I don't know anything extra, anything that would help. Sounds like you press... need a nap, though. I need a nap, like, no one's business, it's ridiculous. Ow. Honestly, just working on this Playboy shit's killing me. Um, okay, well, I'm gonna uh, take a trip to the pier, and uh, I'll let you walk, Kobe. I'm gonna search you and you know, confiscate anything illegal, but other than that, you are uh, free to go, man. Sounds good, and just to clarify, the that spot is not legal, even though it's marked on the, my GPS spot? Right. That's kind of dumb. I agree, I don't know why it's marked, that is weird. But, um, when it comes to weed itself, uh, the, the 10 joints, or, uh, so is that your first time doing, like, picking weed? I'm not gonna, like I yep. said, letting you go, not charging it for anything. Yep. Okay. There's just some, some questions about it, but, alright. We'll go ahead and search him one time. Just to hang on until Looks like Forrester already did. Alright, um, I'm gonna let you go. Um, yeah, I do apologize for, you know, the sneakiness of nature, but, you know, we gotta do what we gotta do to figure some things out on the streets. Um, hopefully, you know, in the future, maybe you'll get some information, maybe you give me a call, maybe some money, or, you know, some other things find its way into your pockets. I'm very willing to help. I always give you a generous tip when I'm at Harmony. Um, there's more where that came from. In my department, we really appreciate information. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All right, Kobe, you stay safe out there, buddy. Take care, boss.